Hey YouTube, how you going? Uh, different video today in that I'm not showing any gear as such, but I'm going to be talking about should you layer your wetsuits? Um, this is a, a very big question that gets asked a lot of the time on the various Facebook groups and everything like that, and it seems to be uh, the idea is that putting more wetsuit on is going to mean that you're warmer and everything like that. Um, I'm firmly against the idea of layering wetsuits. I, I think I don't see any additional benefit in doing it. Um, I don't think it will be as effective as some people think it would be. And I think it would impede your movement and affect how fast you can run and how easy it is to do certain obstacles and that kind of thing. So let me explain. Um, last year, for the first couple of laps, I went with a 3-2 wetsuit. So 3mm, 2mm um, wetsuit, and that was more than sufficient for those first couple of laps before it started to get dark. After that, I switched to a 4-3 wetsuit, uh, and I also had some compression gear underneath that. Again, um, I think that's a, a fine thickness right through the night, maybe... I can see the benefit in having one that was slightly thicker for that kind of 1 a.m. to 4 or 5 a.m. period if your budget allowed it. But even then, I'd only be looking at going maybe a 5 millimeter, like a 5.4 or something like that. Um, to kind of explain why I think that's sufficient um, is because both my body, my, um, you know, my torso, my arms, my legs were perfectly fine. In terms of warmth, um, they weren't cold at all. The things that were cold were your hands, your feet, and your face when you went under the water. Um, predominantly the hands. They, that was where I felt the cold the most. So if your upper body and your legs and your arms and all that is warm, what is putting a second wetsuit on going to achieve? Nothing. Because all that second wetsuit is going to do, it's going to add more neoprene to where you're already feeling fine. Um, you know, there's, there's no real benefit in doing that. If you could, you need to warm your hands and your feet and your face, but again, with that, you can't really put on an extra pair of gloves or an extra pair of shoes, you know, because A, it's impossible, and B, with your hands, they'd just be like marshmallow fingers. You wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, so that's kind of one of the main reasons why I'm against this whole idea of layering a wetsuit. I think if you're someone who's only got the budget to buy one wetsuit, buy the thicker wetsuit. So if I only had enough money to get one, last year I would have gone with the 4.3 and I would have worn that the entire time. I firmly believe though if you can stretch the budget to get a second wetsuit so that you can switch both from a kind of um, morale boosting point of view, just putting on something fresh, and also because it gives you that option of starting off in something that's a little bit lighter and a little bit thinner when the temperature is not going to be too bad. And then, you know, when it does get cold, you've got something to kind of look forward to putting on. Um, so if you can afford it, I'd definitely go two. Uh, and if you really want to back, break the bank, hey, maybe even go three. So like I said, during that 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. period, you've got like a super duper thick, you know, not super duper thick, but like a five mil or something that you can go to if you need to. Um, if you were, if anyone's ever tried to put on two wet suits, which I have done, it's extremely difficult. I tried to do it in Sydney just to see what it was like. Um, it's not the most comfortable experience, and also wet suits aren't designed to be worn on top of each other. So especially in areas like under the arms and that kind of thing, it does feel quite restrictive. And I, I really just don't see the benefit in doing that. If you're someone who's on a very, very tight budget and you've got like an old 3-2 wetsuit and that's all you can take and you're really concerned about the cold, that would probably be the only time that I'd even consider having one like a short sleeve or something that you're going to chuck on top to give you that extra padding around the, the midsection and stuff when it gets cold but that that would literally be the only case where i'd ever even kind of consider it if your budget is that tight and you're relying on you know some gear that got donated or some old gear that you got lying around the house and that you know that you're going to feel the cold a lot and you, your main wetsuit is like a three two or something and you're like damn it's going to be really cold you know 
then maybe that that is an option. But even then, you don't need to really maybe have a full, like another wetsuit, like a short shorty wetsuit or something. Maybe you can just have another neoprene vest on top, so at least you have that movability um, in your legs, and you can just kind of keep your torso a bit warmer. But even then, I, I mean, I don't really think that it's going to do too much for you. Um, I, I really think that you know your, your, your upper body in that, most of the time it's sweet, it's just the hands and the feet. So worry about the hands and the feet, um, two wetsuits if you can, it's a bit of a morale booster. If you can't do that, go thicker uh, and just stay in the one suit the whole time. So that's kind of why I wouldn't um, lay a wetsuit. What are your thoughts? Did you do it last year? Do you have a different opinion? Comment below, let me know and talk to you soon.